It looks like Nintendo Switch might be dominating this holiday season despite the launch of next-gen systems. But before we get into that, let's talk about our giveaway for this month. We are giving away a copy of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. To enter, all you need to do is comment on this video, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. Hell, let's try to get this video to 200 likes. I know we can do it, plus liking, subscribing, sharing, all that jazz obviously helps spread the channel around and uh, who knows, maybe get some more views. That being said, uh, I am also on the road to 50,000 subscribers. If we hit 50,000 subscribers before November 1st, 2020, during the month of November, I will give away an Xbox Series X, a PlayStation 5, or a Nintendo Switch to one lucky winner. Now, that being said, let's get into the news today. And this comes from uh, an analyst. This analyst uh, works for a, a company in Japan called Ace Research, uh, and they're a company that you know people employ to to make you know predictions and and to try to do stock investments and all that jazz. Uh, and this analyst uh, came out to say the following: Nintendo's business performance will continue to be strong in the second quarter, and it seems a Switch, which is significantly inferior in performance to the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, etc., will overwhelm the PlayStation 5 during the Christmas season. Uh, and they go on to talk about, you know, uh, how you know, the worldwide performance. So if you get into the article, it's all in Japanese. He's not just talking about in Japan, he's talking worldwide. But it's interesting because a lot of people are basically coming out and saying, yeah, this is going to happen, and it's one of the most obvious things uh, to do. Like, I, I had this pop up on my Twitter feed a bunch, and there were just people saying uh, th things like, you know, the Switch is going to just be in more supply than the PlayStation 5. Like, it's doubtful that the PlayStation 5 can even have enough supply to outsell Switch uh, this holiday. So some of it thinks it's going to be a supply and demand issue, and Switch is still in high demand. Uh, Switch has been in high demand all year long, and Nintendo Switch during the holiday period last year sold 11 million units. And... Granted, we had a Pokemon game and all that jazz, but some people are thinking there's no reason for it not to sell another 10 or 11 million units this holiday season, and this is without us even knowing what games are going to be there for sure, 100% for sure, beyond Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So it's very interesting to see that Nintendo's momentum, even without any games really announced for that sales period, is looking to have a very, very strong sales period simply because it's going to be easier to get than it is going to be to get a PlayStation 5. Uh, so yeah. And, and uh, I mean, stealth 40 K for those who watch it, watch him on Twitter, he came out and said, Hey, look, you know, it's easily going to crush the PlayStation five out in uh, Japan, probably in the U S as well. It's probably going to crush it worldwide to be completely honest, besides very select territories. Um, but you know, you go through all of this, uh, you know, like you have, uh, <laughs> um, voice, voice of a fan service coming out here and saying, you know, Sony fanboys, I hate the term fanboy. I know it's a negatory term, whatever. I uh, think their sense, uh, is dominating this generation, like the PS2 era. Truth is the PS4 won't even replicate the PS1 era sales. It will barely outsell the PlayStation one. And even PlayStation one dominated the competition. Meanwhile, PlayStation four only has 50% market share. Basically what, 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 what a lot of Sony people I, I've been trying to act like a lot of Sony fans are being like, Hey, you you know, PlayStation 5 is going to crush Xbox Series X this holiday, which could happen, and it's going to crush Nintendo this holiday. But there really isn't factual evidence to back that up. Um, so, yeah, the, the only thing, I guess, is hype. Um, I know that, you know, Sony and, and Microsoft have both kind of said, oh, you know, stock's not going to be a problem. But stock is always a problem at the launch of a new system. When's, when's the last time a new system launched that wasn't sold out at launch, especially during a holiday period? Uh, guys, the Wii U that sold 30 million units was sold out and hard to get for nearly a month. This happens every time with the launch of new technology and especially new game consoles as they're very hard to find. And then initial month, the 3DS was the same way for a couple weeks. You couldn't find one after launch for a couple weeks. Yet it still, for that first year of sales, did not do very well. So it's something to consider that just because we have these launches of the new platforms... Nintendo Switch's sales are going to be booming. And this is one reason that Nintendo doesn't need to respond to what PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X uh, or Microsoft, Sony, etc. are doing right now. Next holiday might be a holiday period where now Nintendo's got to have a Switch Pro or something out there or at least a bunch of big games. This holiday, honestly, uh, 
Nintendo just needs to have Switches on the shelves and people are going to buy them. Uh, this does kind of let some credence that maybe Nintendo won't drop the price this holiday. Although, I think their pricing of the Switch will be dependent on pricing of Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. If one of those platforms chimes in at $399, I, I think Nintendo will kind of be forced in a way to have to drop the price by 50 bucks just to appear as a better value buy. But we'll see. They could keep it at 300 but offer a bunch of bundles, per se. A Zelda bundle, uh, a, a Mario bundle, you know, beyond the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle, etc. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I do think that Nintendo is going to be sitting very, very, very pretty this holiday season, regardless of what games come out. Uh, because, again... Nintendo, you know, for, for everyone talking about how, oh, it's been a drought year, even though Nintendo's released seven published games in eight months, which is a crap load of games in eight months. I get that, you know, for most people, it was basically Animal Crossing, Mario Party, and the rest don't matter because they were either ports or small games. But the thing is, is I actually view uh, Nintendo as, as they're, they're in such a high demand because of the library of games. If you look at the top 10 game sales in Japan, in the U.S. MPD reports and all that, how many times is Breath of the Wild still popping up? Odyssey still popping up? Pokemon Sword and Shield? Smash Ultimate? Mario Kart? Like, it's the reason it's still selling is because Switch hasn't peaked yet. They, they, like, the, the audience that wants Switch hasn't peaked yet. Uh, and what I mean by that is we haven't had the peak year in sales yet. It's potential that 2020 is the peak year for sales for Switch. I don't know. We're not going to know until we start getting into 2021 and seeing how the Switch sells then. But Switch is still in high demand, which means the totality of the library of games from launch until now is what is selling the Nintendo Switch. Not just the exclusives, of course. There are people buying it for the indie games and playing them on the go and some of the AAA third-party games as well. I know there's some of you guys out there that specifically bought Switch to play games like Witcher 3 on the go and all that. And I understand that we're going to have to be a little concerned, especially next year, about third-party games coming over. Like, we're going to get Doom Eternal, but our, you know... Are we really going to get the next Doom game after that's made for those next-gen platforms? I have no idea. Uh, you know, what about things like NBA 2K? We've gotten that every year. We're getting it this year. Are we going to get it beyond this year? I, I don't know. I don't have any answers to that. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how things go with this in the future. But all I know is that uh, Nintendo's sitting pretty. And uh, I, I, think, I, I think logically... All of us could predict or, or, or could know that Nintendo was going to dominate this holiday period. So when they do have the big sales numbers come in, don't be surprised. But also, I think uh, that people have a fear of uh, Nintendo fans are kind of afraid because we don't know what the big holiday game is. Because we don't know, uh, because these other next gen platforms are coming out and we don't know the prices. Uh, we don't even know the full launch lineups. I mean, there, there, there's so much information we don't know as, as we get towards the end of summer here that people are afraid that Nintendo is going to be overshadowed this holiday when in reality, uh, Nintendo is going to be probably at the top of the sales heap. Um, it's more so 2021 that I would be concerned about Nintendo potentially getting buried. But then again, I also don't think that's going to happen. And I have a video coming out on why Nintendo is actually going to end up dominating again in 2021. Then 2022 might be the start. Uh, hey, we got to start ramping things up for a potential next gen platform, potentially teased at an E3 or some Nintendo event uh, in 2022. Personally, I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think it's coming out to 2023, but yeah. Um, more on that though in another video that I I, I kind of have cooking here because I got I got quite um, an interesting concept here on a a more uh, editorial video versus the news videos that I, I tend to do a lot of reactions to. But then you, you guys let me know what you think about Switch dominating this holiday. Do you agree with the analyst and several other analysts like Michael Pactors and stuff actually coming out and being like, yeah, like this isn't, this is like one of the easiest predictions to ever make uh, because Switch is already back up to normal production levels and is going to, you know, really start stockpiling Switches for the holiday um and their their assembly lines should already be bigger and more plentiful than playstation 5s and xbox series x's so we'll see what happens um because remember they're still making playstation 4 and xbox ones as well whereas nintendo discontinued 3ds they discontinued wii u every manufacturing line they have literally just makes switches potentially switch pros we don't really know what's happening with that uh but 
yeah, so you guys let me know what you think about this down in uh, the comments below. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time uh, to be a Nintendo fan in terms of if you care about the health of the company because they're going to be very, very healthy this holiday even if they don't release any more games. Uh, and it's a crazy thought process because usually you need games to push units, but uh, this is a strange pandemic year where people want that back catalog and Switch has been hard to get all year. You know, Animal Crossing sales could be 40, 50 million if Switch was hitting uh on the uh actual demand in terms of being able to keep it up with production so we'll see what happens you guys let me know down in the comments below i am nathaniel rumble Jance from nintendo prime i loved talking about this little piece this little nugget of, of information this morning you guys have a lovely day and you know what i'll catch you guys in the next video should have a stream popping off for you guys later today we'll see um what happens but i do at least have one more video maybe two uh to try to ramp up the content around here so you guys let me know uh, what you want to find out about all of this stuff. Uh, actually, you know what? If you have anything specifically you want me to cover in another video, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo-related, PC-related, whatever the case might be, let you, just go ahead. Go down in the comments. Let me know if there's a particular news piece you want me to cover. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.